From Scott Park, the series finale between Central Michigan and Toledo. Bottom of third with the runners on the corner. Daron Williams sack fly, but after the diving catch, it's bobbled. That'll give Troy Sudbrook enough time to run home and for Toledo to take a lead. Two batters later, Mason Sykes, the home run king, just short of a three run blast. But hey, he'll settle for two RBIs and a three nothing lead Toledo. Top of the fifth, however, the Chips scored two runs, making it now just a one run game. And with bases loaded, the Rockets able to avoid the threat. And then Toledo decides to flip the script. Bottom of the inning, bases loaded for the Rockets. Sykes flies out to right field. Caden Konchak scores, and the Rockets would add another insurance run in the seventh by former General Garrett Pike. Toledo wins 5-2 to two and claims the series. Senior pitcher Cal Mechanic records the save. He's 5-1 and one this season. A Toledo graduate enjoying the extra time with the Rockets. I would say, uh, yeah, I felt the most comfortable. I'd say I felt a little off probably the past month or so, and I would say the past three weeks, I kind of honed it in to work on what my skill set is to help the team win. Boy, it was great for you to get the win yesterday and the save today. Mm -hmm. And what people may not realize, this is kind of extra innings for you because you've already earned your diploma. Yeah, I would say so. Uh, this is my, what, six-year college, I would say. And, you know, I'm not angry that I get to go out and play in the dirt every day with my friends, so I'm not mad. <laughs> From Scott Park with more, we'll send it to Jim Heller and Scoop Miller. Well, very, very productive weekend at Scott Park for Toledo Rockets baseball. Coming from behind yesterday to win and winning the rubber match today, 5-2 to two on top of a team that may go a long way in the NCAA tournament in Central Michigan. And Scoop Miller, that was a tournament-type atmosphere today. We saw some great baseball. You know, credit to Rockets after uh, taking on the chin Friday night. They come back with an impressive win yesterday and that walk-off hit by Garrett Pike. But they even matched that and then some today, uh, beating a strong Central Michigan team here and winning the series here. So great baseball by the Rockets all weekend. Well, and of course, if you'd have told me Toledo would win this game with three hits, I would have had some swamp land to sell you on Mother's Day. But that's how it turned out. I tell you what, we saw tremendous pitching uh, from both Central Michigan and Toledo. But what can you say about the job? of Cal Mackinich uh, for the Rockets. Yesterday came on relief, pitched the final uh, inning in two thirds to get the win. And today he came out of the bullpen, pitched five strong innings to pick up his second win of the series, but held uh, Central Michigan to just three hits, was lights out. And how about the Rockets as a staff? 156 pitches today, 156 fastballs. Here it is, come and get it, and uh, the Rocket pitching was up to the task. And the veteran shortstop, Jaron Williams, scoring twice today. So the Rockets take two of three from Central Michigan. Here's what's in front of them. They're one game below 500. They're one game under 500 in conference play. They'll have Indiana, Purdue, Fort Wayne in the middle of the week, and then the big weekend series against Bowling Green State University. We need to see everybody Friday night at Fifth Third Field. Along with Scoop Miller, my name is Jim Heller. You're watching BCSN.